first class in the Jim Lee Instructional School of how to draw Batman and Wonder Woman. So today I have the pleasure of showing you guys how to draw Wonder Woman. Use a basic pencil right here, an eraser, and I've got a marker somewhere. You can find it. What happened to my marker? Half of this me book for arts and So with every drawing of a head, you start with an upside down egg. So it's a little wider at the top. Upside down egg. Draw a middle line very lightly down the center and and then from here to here, kind of the middle. Are you doing three quarter shin? Okay. Where this line, the top of the egg meet. You guys know how to draw upside down seven? It's a nose shape. Put it right there. Yeah. The booger line, is that what you call it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Want to draw the mouth? Remember, this length of the mouth is longer than this length. She got this length like this? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you guys got it. Now, over here where this line meets the edge of that uh, of the uh, oval that we've created, let's go ahead and draw a circle. There you go. Yeah, that's looking good, guys. Now, we're going to draw the eye. Just draw straight lines down from the, your eyebrows. That's kind of more how big the eye is going to be. So you can see that it's like a fish shape. Draw a fish without the tail. Yeah, you guys are doing great. Look at my Now go back to the middle of the brow. Draw a line straight up like this. And that's kind of that lobe or the top part of the lobe, I think. The lobe is actually on the bottom. I don't know what I'm talking about. Now, let's go back to the tiara. The center line of the tiara is very vital and important because that's where the star is going to go. I don't even know how to draw a star. <laughs> you don't know how to draw a Just put whatever star shape element there. A circle. Just put a circle. So now we're going to add her hair on top of this. So the hair sits almost like a wig on top of this egg. Right before it starts turning. Now if you notice, it actually looks very uh, like a minimalist Picasso drawing. You guys all know who Picasso is, right? Yeah, I know. You? I know him. <laughs> He made an awkward thing. Yeah. Like this, you can go ahead and round out the corners a little bit. Now get the marker, guys. Go ahead and do that eyebrow again. Yeah. This is going great. Now instead of uh, drawing the whole upside down seven for the nose, let's try this first. Let's go ahead and draw like a little couch. A lawn chair. A lounger. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Boogers, that's a shadow. <laughs> and let's round out the cheek, round out the bottom of the chin. This is the tiara. Then down, and then this star. And now, rather than draw these um, shapes, you can just draw that outline. You don't have to fill it in, or if you want to. I don't want to. Okay. And it's okay to turn the drawing around. Sometimes that's just easier. Isn't this good? You practice a little bit. It doesn't hurt. You can also add a shadow underneath her chin. Just basically thicken this line like that. Ooh. It's advanced shadow underneath the chin. Go ahead and fill that in. You can fill that in with black. Let's go ahead and do like a cool reflection in the metal. You can go ahead and put like an H. Look, we're going to fill this in. The hair goes over the tiara. Now, sign your name. Nice small face. <laughs> Note the progress that you have made. So today I'm going to walk you guys through how to draw a very kind of simple Batman. That's the end result. Spoiler alert. What are we going to start with? Upside down egg, guys. Now I'm going to draw a straight line down. Isn't the same? Kind of, yeah, same basic construction at the beginning. We're going to draw the Batman at a three-quarter angle. What that means is if this is straight at you, three-quarter means like kind of looking this way. Draw that arc line. Yeah. That part right there, that's going to represent the middle of the brow. Draw angry eyebrows. Eyebrows. This <laughs> angry? All right, now put the triangular shape so the eyes go. Seven. 
draw a line down. That's going to represent this. Is that the booger line? Okay. Yeah, that's a line. Draw a line from the mouth. Oh, smile there. Yeah. It doesn't have to. The line's a little longer on this side, actually. Straight down. Straight down. Why is that? Because you've got this big old fat face. No, no, you don't. See, once you put the mask on, it won't look so bad. Bottom part of the nose, go ahead and draw a line that's parallel, right? You know how to draw parallel lines? Watch, see, see this yeah, line here? Yeah, go ahead. Parallel. Yeah, there you go. Like this? Mm -hmm. Okay, and the other side, draw a parallel line to that eyebrow. He's very angry today. Yeah, you got it, you got it right here. Okay, and then. Don't forget the bottom of the chin. Okay. Let's go back to the ear. Straight up on the ear, draw like little lines on the sides of the ear. Straight up. And then draw the ear like it's like a it's like a, a mountain top. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so now draw another set of parallel lines to this cowl. That's his shoulder. No, no. Yeah, there you go. Because that's his cape over his chest. I can right, now go, see this. go ahead and do a box. And that's going to be the bat symbol. Oh, I thought that was and then another six box pack. on top of it. With pretty ears. With pretty ears. Yes. Oh, get the marker. You guys ready? Let's start with the eyes. Realize that this eye is going to be a little smaller than that one. Let's do the upside down seven. Put a little shadow underneath the bottom. Just a little bit. Yeah, there you so go. So that's his real booger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I go all the way over here. Draw the edges of the towel. He looks weird. He looks like he's like yeah, the bottom part of the chin. I knew that. Yeah. yeah, there you go. And draw the line for the mouth. Making him look creepy. Over here, we have the brow. And then it comes down straight and then kind of slides towards that chin there. There you go. You guys are getting it. He's like worried, so his brow is worried, so just put like lines here like this. In the center. Are right, you worried? Right here, Jackie. Yeah, Did right the here. penguin steal his loved one? Right here, we're almost done. So we're gonna add shadows underneath the eyeball. Batman is nocturnal, he basically fights crime at night, so he's always tired. So let's go ahead and just kind of do like a semi-circle underneath. Put a line underneath it. It basically creates the illusion of the lower lip, right? Because we're seeing kind of the shadow of the lower lip cast on the sort of brown chin. There's a temple line on the side of the head here, so if you just basically go ahead and do this. All right, so this is the front, this is the side of the face. So, so this line represents where the front turns to the side. Okay. All right, and if you want, you can kind of draw like little circles here. You must have justice. Is that your Batman voice? <laughs> and then you want to sign your name in a very legible way so that all your fans uh, and family and friends can go, oh, that's an original so-and-so, right? All right, good job, guys. All right, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, very cool, you guys did great.